Roush Games! Hello, 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 and welcome to our weekly edition of Superstars here in our WWE 2K14 universe. This is our story-driven house show where we let the stories kind of take control and show you one match, which we will have an announcement on later on. But for right now, we have Kofi and we have Caitlyn backstage. She called him Edgy Poo. That was cute. But apparently, we have an offer to form a stable between Edge, Kofi, and Caitlyn. But it looks like Kofi Kingston does not want any part of that, saying he's trying to focus on his singles career at the moment, and that he'd rather not be a third wheel in what has become the most annoying relationship here in the WWE Universe. Now wait, Edge's voice from off screen. Kofi's taken off. I don't know, did that seem kind of awkward to anybody else there? <laughs> oh, they're going to get a family plan. Oh. All right, and that is right, ladies and gentlemen. We are indeed here for superstars. As I just mentioned in our first opening scene of the night, we saw Kofi Kingston speaking with Caitlyn backstage, who Caitlyn seemed to be kind of thanking him for helping Edge win that tag team match last week, even though it was really Caitlyn's interference that helped them beat the primetime players via countout. Either way, she invited Kofi to form a stable with she and Edge. Kofi turned it down. Kofi's been a little agitated lately, and he walked away when Edge showed up. I, I can't really tell what's going on, but... You think of Kofi, he just said he's trying to focus on his singles career here in, in this very year, this 2K14 season, and in any singles match he's had, he's lost so far, um, losing twice to Edge. He's also been picking fights with Antonio Cesaro on Raw, but JBL made him look like a kind of a moron for doing that a couple weeks ago, and he's just got arguments and crap talking on both sides of the equation right now, and he'd rather not get involved in a stable apparently, but he made that pretty awkward, and I'm interested to see if that turns into anything. We'll have to see on SmackDown. But as for tonight, this is our house show. We're not going to show you every match. We're going to show you one match. We've got five here, and we did a little bit of an impromptu fan vote heading into this. And with the two votes tabulated from Ian Mecca and from CM Rants, <laughs> we're going to have our uh, the, the match that, that we will go for announced here right now. We've got five one-on-one -on -one matches on the card tonight. Rey Mysterio taking on Wade Barrett. Darren Young versus Kofi Kingston, Dolph Ziggler versus Randy Savage, R Truth versus Titus O'Neil, and The Undertaker versus CM Punk, their first time squaring off since WrestleMania and CM Punk's first match in this universe mode that I can remember, but who knows? I drink a lot. Woo! Uh, and with two unanimous votes, <laughs> the, the, the match we'll play tonight will be Dolph Ziggler versus Randy Savage, so we will be moving that up to our main event for the evening, which is interesting because right before that match, yeah, right before that match, Dolph Ziggler is going to be signing a contract for his title match at Extreme Rules with John Cena and Vince McMahon. And it's going to be a pretty interesting little scene, so we'll see how that plays out. But for now, we're going to get to the results of our first two matches. We've got Rey Mysterio, Wade Barrett, and Rey Mysterio comes out with a nice big win over Bad News Barrett, who's not Bad News Barrett in this universe mode. And pardon the voice, um, not only am I still getting over being sick a couple of weeks ago, apparently, you know, my lungs just need that time, it just got really cold here in Philly. It's been like 16 degrees for the last three days, and I have to walk to and from work three miles, one hour, because I can't afford cabs right now. So, yeah, probably going to get sick again. Get ready for that. Anyway, first match, Rey Mysterio beats Wade Barrett. Second match, we just saw Kofi getting his head all caught up backstage with Caitlyn and Edge and all that fun stuff, and Darren Young... And it's Darren Young, Kofi Kingston, easily distracted, and there is yet another singles competition loss for Kofi Kingston. You gotta wonder when he's gonna blow his lid over this stuff, but we're gonna move now into a commercial break. When we come back, I believe we've got a segment with Mr. Ted DiBiase planned out. We will see you then, guys. And we are back here in the Superstars Arena with Ted DiBiase in the ring. 
apparently finishing up a lively segment teaching people how to successfully save for retirement. All right. Oh, but wait a second. We have the world heavyweight champion Alberto Del Rio and Ricardo Rodriguez up on the stage. Del Rio's got a briefcase. Apparently, they have proof of Ted DiBiase's involvement in the plot to run over Alberto Del Rio from Superstars just last week. We've been looking for the culprit. We've been trying to assess who could be driving that car, but the, our, our CCTV cameras couldn't get a clear enough picture aside from the one of the eyes of what looks like the gentleman that did it. So we're, this is an ongoing thing, but this is a new wrinkle because no WWE official has any... any has said anything about this, but I don't know. Either way, we'll be back with our next couple of matches, guys. Stick tight. All right, and we are back from our little command center here for Superstars, the once-a-week house show where we further storylines. And in the storyline that we just furthered, what we just saw, Ted DiBiase was giving a little speech to the crowd about retirement savings when Alberto Del Rio and Ricardo Rodriguez interrupted from the stage with a briefcase that they said contained irrefutable proof that Ted DiBiase was involved in the plot to run over Alberto Del Rio, the world heavyweight champion. Now, this has some pretty major implications as Del Rio does have a match scheduled with Andre the Giant for that belt at Extreme Rules, and even without being nearly run over by a car, Del Rio has not looked good in his matches against his number one contender heading into this pay-per-view. So, if this is true, th this has some some strong implications. Uh, I mean, if, if this evidence is, is correct and it's placed in the right WWE officials' hands, this match against Andre the Giant at Extreme Rules could be forfeited before it even happens. With, with this kind of, like, cheating and, and backhanding and all kinds of dumb stuff like that, DiBiase, if he, if he is indeed involved here, could very well have cost his client a chance at the World Heavyweight Championship. And as much as we don't really like the Million Dollar Corporation right now, Andre the Giant deserves the shot at this point. He's beaten the champion so many times this month, he might as well get a shot for the belt. You have to hope his boss didn't just cost him that. But either way, we'll find out more as that is revealed. From what we know, Del Rio, as they said on their way out from the stage, they're not planning on revealing the proof tonight. It is their proof to reveal. They cannot be forced to unveil it, and it may not even really exist. It may be a mind game. We will uh, we'll keep you updated with that, but right now we've got our next two matches tonight. We have the other half of the primetime players. Titus O'Neil also looking for a singles victory tonight. He will be taking on our truth <clears throat> Kofi Kingston's former tag team partner, actually. And here we go. Oh, and Titus O'Neil does win. The primetime players go 2-0 oh tonight. Getting a little revenge on Kofi and taking out R-Truth as well. And in what was originally our main event, this is that rematch from WrestleMania. The Undertaker taking on CM Punk. We've seen The Undertaker once so far teaming up with Mick Foley in a nice little all-star victory over Brock Lesnar and Batista on Raw a few weeks ago. CM Punk making his debut and winning, taking out the dead man. Hopefully we see some more of him sometime soon out of these house shows. And we're just about to get into our match here. Uh, but first, we have to go and meet you in the ring for the contract signing between Dolph Ziggler and John Cena. We will be right back with that, guys. And here we are in the center of the ring just before this evening's main event. The world champion John Cena signing the con the WWE champion, sorry, signing the contract for the Extreme Rules title match against Dolph Ziggler sitting across the ring from him. And there is Mr. Vince McMahon looking on. And there we have it. The WWE Championship will be defended this Sunday. Gobble, gobble. They do know the rules. And it is up to them to make sure that they are prepared. That is correct, Mr. McMahon. And just after the contract signing, we're going to have some words now between Cena and Ziggler. We've seen a lot of this over the past few weeks. Oh, getting some nice compliments from Cena to Ziggler here. This is actually a pretty good little talk they've got. But Ziggler wants no part of the nice-nice. He wants the belt belt. Oh, snap. Crappy oversized t-shirt. Oh. 
Ziggler walking away, getting ready for his match. Oh, and he's hit from behind with the belt by John Cena, who yells boom. And here we are, main event time from the house show. Oh, big power slam from Dolph Ziggler to Macho to start everything off here. We've got two guys who share very similar in-ring styles, taking each other on in a fantasy match for the ages. The Macho Man Randy Savage taking on the show-off Dolph Ziggler. And what we just saw here right before this main event on Superstars. Wait a minute, we're going up top with both of them here. Ziggler's got Macho set up in a suplex clutch. And that is a superplex into the center of the ring. Unbelievable off the bat. Ziggler with some high impact maneuvering. But Ziggler is hurting heading into this match against the Macho Man, Randy Savage. He just had his contract signing with John Cena for their main event title match at Extreme Rules. Ziggler looking like he is on the road to taking that title from John Cena. Um, he's just been dominant in their matches recently over the past few weeks. But after the contract signing, a very non-Cena-like maneuver, John Cena ambushes Ziggler with the title and reminds him that he apparently created Extreme, which I'm sure several people like Terry Funk and Mick Foley would disagree with. But either way, he knocked Ziggler out, and we couldn't get this match started until the EMTs here at ringside came down with smelling salts and made sure that Ziggler was indeed ready for contact, that he's not concussed. Oh, and another big-time power slam. Macho Man not getting the runs that he thinks he would. <laughs> not getting the runs. Um, so Ziggler possibly unprepared for this match, but he does not look too injured off the bat here, delivering a back suplex to the Macho Man there. And we have not seen Randy Savage. Another big power slam from Ziggler to Macho. Macho's got to stop trying to run at him. Oh, and there's a stomp to the Macho nerds. Um, we have not seen Macho Man since... Oof, what was that? Our, our first or second edition of Superstars. I don't even remember at this point. Earlier this month where he beat Ryback, who we aptly named the Superstar of Superstars HD. And as soon as we made that a crowd sign for him, compliments of Will Sefik, he stopped appearing on Superstars. So we'll see if we can get back to booking him correctly next month. But into this match we go, and another power slam from Dolph Ziggler! Macho Man is just trying to run at him, and it's amazing because Macho Man is not the player-controlled superstar in this match. The computer is spamming running maneuvers, ladies and gentlemen. It is not me. I am Dolph Ziggler. Who said that? Not the announcer. Can't break kayfabe now. And there's going to be another big twisting back suplex from Dolph Ziggler to the Macho Man. Just taking it to him here on the Superstars. Made of a huge drop kick to the chest. Macho down, but he kicks Dolph Ziggler away. And now he's up on his feet and he's hunched over. He looks like he's in a little bit of pain. Ziggler, one more time with a back suplex there. Just in complete control of this matchup against the Macho Man. And a big jumping DDT from Dolph Ziggler to Randy Savage. And now he's motioning for Randy to get up. Ziggler ignoring that title shot from earlier. Oh, but Randy reverses. It looks like he was set for the zigzag. And now Dolph gets out of the ring. We're going to have the ref counting. This is just a, a regular rules one fall match. Both men are out of the ring now. Ziggler just no-selling that title shot from John Cena earlier before this match. He is ready to win here. He is showing why he thinks he's going to be champion once Extreme Rules is said and done this Sunday night. All we have left between now and then is SmackDown, and we will be on for our first WWE pay-per-view. Ziggler in the ring, taunting with the swaying of the hips, but Macho capitalizing into a side headlock, twisting him around, club across the neck from Macho Man. Ziggler is up on his feet, though. And another big momentum-changing power slam. But now, Macho with a punch to the chest. And another big power slam. Macho will not stop running at Dolph Ziggler here. It's amazing. It's like a kid playing WWE Online is controlling the Macho Man. But there is Ziggler with another headstand. Headlock. And now we've got a pin. One, two. Oh, two count. And Macho does indeed kick out. And he blocks a punch from Ziggler, but Ziggler blocks right back and delivers one across the far head of the legend, Randy Savage, into a drop toe hold there. And Ziggler, once again, going to roll out of the ring here. Now working from a side headlock is Ziggler. He jumps and brings him down on the jaw. There's a nice jawbreaker from Ziggler to Macho. And now Ziggler working on an arm bar. We are on the floor of the arena here. The ref is again counting. Ziggler misses an elbow drop. Macho with a kick to the gut, twisting the arm around. My cousin is online, ladies and gentlemen. And now Macho Man throwing Dolph Ziggler into the ring. And he hits him with an elbow right across the cheek. And now Macho 
Kicking him to the small of the back, but Ziggler is up into a side headlock. And a big face crusher there from Dolph Ziggler. And he rolls Macho over. And we've got an elbow drop. And another elbow drop. And one jumping elbow drop. And Macho Man is dead. Dolph Ziggler, again, motioning for him to get to his feet. He's going to try not to have this one reversed. We're going to have a zigzag here, ladies and gentlemen. And we do the zigzag indeed. Macho Man is dead in the center of the ring. Ziggler with a pin. One, two, three. Dolph Ziggler with a three-count pinfall victory to send us home from superstars tonight. Despite the attack with the title, Dolph Ziggler gets on his feet and beats a true WWE legend. Starting off with that superplex there. Definitely helped by the six or seven power slams he hit on the Macho Man throughout this match. That was insane that Ziggler had the wherewithal to get up from a title shot and win a match against one of the most competitive men in WWE history. And if you want to prove that you're ready for an Extreme Rules match, you take a title to the back of the head, you get up and you win a match after that. Dolph Ziggler, if, if his past performance these last two weeks have anything to say about it, is going to be your WWE champion this Wednesday night. Come hell or high water, he is leaving with John Cena's belt. And ladies and gentlemen, I think we've got to get used to the idea of a bad guy holding the title for a little while here. Might be nice to see change, but Dolph Ziggler will be your WWE champion this Sunday night. I, I see no other logical way for this feud to conclude. We're going to go off the air here from Superstars. We will see you for SmackDown tomorrow night and then Extreme Rules this Sunday. I hope to God you are ready for some exciting stuff, guys. And remember, as always, if you liked this video, why don't you show me by liking it on YouTube. And subscribe if you're new here. We do this stuff quite a bit and have some fun, guys. I'll see you soon.